so the first song we released, if it's released now, it's released, it's not, sorry, but it will be, <laughs> is yeah. uh, You Are the Dream of the Dream When I Dream, Dream Born, Born Again. Again. And when I play people that song, the first thing they say is it reminds them of old Newfound Glory, Nothing Gold Can Stay. Oh, right? weird. Which okay. is so weird. And I think a lot of it has to do with your voice, too. Yeah. Because I think that's another thing that really shines about the acoustic record that we kind of did different is Jordan. You can, I'm going to, I'll, I'll tell you how I feel and you can speak <laughs> on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but how I feel about Jordan's performance is Jordan um, likes singing perfect. Why is singing hard? Right? I try. He tries to sing perfect. Jordan's really good in the studio. I'm recording. A lot of people think, like, when they hear our records that he's, like, got auto-tune or all this stuff. It's it's not. Like, he's, like, he's, like, his, the way he moves notes and sings, it's, like, perfect, right? But the problem with that is he's gotten so good over the years that sometimes when you're singing that good, you lose some of the natural energy because you're focused more on the note, less on the emotion. So this time in the castle studio, since it's acoustic, you know, acoustic really, and the only thing that's behind him is the, um, is acoustic guitar, yeah. not like loud yeah. drums or not like all these tons of guitars. But um, the thing about, uh, about, so all you hear is the voice. So we told Jordan, when we first started the tra tracking the first song, he was singing like perfect. And I was like, no, don't. Like, don't worry about singing on key. Don't worry about singing perfect, just really hear the words, feel it, and go off and just sing. And whatever comes out, like, if it sounds crazy and we miss it, we can do it again, but just, and man, he, he crushed it. I think the vocals on this release are some of the best vocals you've done. Thank you. Because you can hear, like, just the grit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I agree. I can hear the hair on your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, uh, at first it was really uncomfortable because I was so used to, like, doing things a certain way. And then, you know, when we would work on songs and vocal melodies and reading through lyrics and, you know, a lot was going on during that time when we were recording the record, especially, you know, with Chad. And so emotionally, like, it's really, it, it hits you hard. But when you go it, when I was going in there and singing these songs, it was like almost not as, it just wasn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It just wasn't hard. Like, I didn't have to think about it because we talked about, hey, just go in there and just do whatever comes out, right? And so for me, that was like a really cool uh, experience um, because it ended up coming out really awesome.